is from Big Basket, and today I will show you how you can use different different uh, separate uh, LAN ports uh, of a 40 gig Wi-Fi, uh, 40 Wi-Fi, 30 device. By default, it's a four. There's a four port, and uh, all it's uh, combined in LAN group. So I will show you how you can use it for DMG or uh, secondary WAN. Uh, let's see. I have already configured all these things. Now we are going to log in. And uh, it's a default username is admin. I haven't changed it. And password is blank. So we just logged in. And uh, GUI just opened. So before the see here, in interface, network interface, you can see if I click on LAN internal, it's uh, showing a uh, port LAN 1, 2, 3, 4 and Wi-Fi. It's all are combined grouped in LAN internal and Wi-Fi also. So I can't use uh, you know port LAN 3, 1, 2, 4 any of them. So separating it first you need to delete all policies because it's blocking while you try to delete a LAN group so it will uh, block you so I will show you here the network interface internal just click at it then here remove LAN and uh, don't forget to connect your laptop through 40 gate Wi-Fi don't ever uh, connect with LAN uh, with 40 gate Wi-Fi LAN to 40 gate Wi-Fi. You can't access it. Sorry, you don't access. If you delete LAN, you won't be able to access uh, firewall later. So you will you will have to reset your 40 gate device. Now I'm going to OK. <coughs> you can see there now it's showing only Wi-Fi in internal group, and uh, LAN is upper. Okay, now we will still uh, one, two, three, four ports are uh, you know combined in all these uh, ports in internal uh, interface name LAN. So now it's uh, removed. I can uh, here remove LAN three and four. Now only LAN one is uh, in the LAN group. Below there you can uh, set your IP address if you are going to use manual or DHCP or PPOE. So here we I am going to use manual IP address which is my series 10.10.16. .10 .10 okay. Now this one. This is for HTTPS conflict with internal subnets. It's conflicting with the subnets so we are going to use different IP series. 17 popping and let it is leave it hmm. so I am going to set the DHCP range from 50 you can set it uh, as your network requirement and uh, enable it's, it means uh, my this uh, interface is enabled Click OK. Here you can see LAN, it's uh, showing different uh, separately LAN groups LAN 1, LAN, LAN 2, LAN 3, and LAN 4. Now I can use this LAN 2 for different purposes, LAN 3 for different, and LAN 4 for different purposes. So you can create DMG or uh, secondary WAN. Here I am going to use LAN 2 as a secondary WAN. Select here WAN. Purpose. Here you can see in the drop down list you can use, use it as a LAN, WAN or DMG. Okay, I am going to use DMG. Just uh, estimated bandwidth you just uh, leave it as a default. And uh, as per your ISP you have to select manual DHCP. How you, if you have static IP select manual and enter uh, the IP address. Or if you have uh, any uh, DHCP ISP, you can, you can select DHCP. Or if you have PPOE, you can select it. If you have username and password, 
select https for access ping and uh, port is enabled okay that's it if you want to use dmg then you can use dmg also just select dmg enter name select dmg or enter the ip which you want let me check here if cider is working or not yeah it's working we can use it i want only one ip address and we will use 48 Invalid net mask. Sorry, twenty-nine. Conflict with bands. No, no. Yes, pink. Ching event. Okay. So here uh, now we have uh, different different. Uh, we have separated land ports. You can see land. It's my different or uh, default land. So LAN secondary backup and uh, LAN three I have created for DMG and LAN four is now blank empty and Wi-Fi has uh, another series. While configuring LAN, you saw it was showing uh, IP conflicts. It was uh, I have entered sixteen series and it was conflicting with the Wi-Fi IP series. That's why I have changed it to seventeen dot one. So. we have already uh, we sec uh, successfully configured it uh, thanks for watching